One is to give you a quick description of our role as a sector specific agency and how that fits in with our federal government efforts as well as working with the industry uh, to strengthen the security and resilience of our grid. Second is uh, to talk about how critical those partnerships are uh, across all levels of government as well as industry. And the third is a challenge you to think about the national labs. We have 17 national labs in the DOE enterprise. Uh, they're a great resource and we use them not only to uh, make them more accessible to industry to, to be able to use them to, to help our stakeholders strengthen our energy sector, but how we could do that with uh, state and local governments, how we can do that with the National Guard, how we might do that with other federal partners as well. Uh, the electrical grid is more than generation and transmission. It's an ecosystem of asset owners, manufacturers, service providers, and government officials at the federal, state, and local levels all working together to run one of the most reliable grids in the world. It's very complex. It's a lot of players. And so any activities to strengthen it, to respond to incidents, uh, are equally complex and, and require a great deal of partnership among all of those stakeholders. Uh, the threats to our energy sector and to the grid will continue to evolve, and DOE is working diligently to stay ahead of that curve. As the energy sector-specific agency, the Department of Energy serves as the day-to-day -day federal interface with industry to coordinate activities to strengthen the security and resilience of the critical infrastructure in the energy sector. Uh, the vast majority of our nation's grid is privately owned. Uh, in fact, 90% of electricity infrastructure is in private hands, and that adds up to more than 3,000 uh, individual companies. Uh, it's very complex <laughs> from that perspective. Uh, and because of this, the government can't do it alone. We must partner with the private sector to achieve our goals. Uh, and that includes partnering at local levels uh, and working with stakeholders across the government uh, to reach uh, every asset um, across the grid. Uh, we're committed to working closely with all of our private and public sector, sector partners to outpace cyber threats uh, and improve the protection of our grid. Uh, one of our partnership elements here is that we use is the Electricity Subsector Coordinating Council. This is the primary mechanism by which we engage with industry on strategic communication and coordination for grid asset owners uh, to interact in a collective environment as a group of industry stakeholders themselves and to interface with the government. Uh, we work with them on a number of security and resilience issues uh, and innovation as a way to find ways to uh, direct research and development in finding solutions to make uh, if make the security of our grid not only stronger, but more efficient in the process. Uh, the ESCC is a group of 30 leaders uh, that represent the entire uh, electricity sector. Uh, 21 of them are utility CEOs uh, who engage personally and directly. They meet three times a year uh, and work as a team in how to come together in the event of an incident and how to uh, build the capabilities across the sector. Uh, this body focuses on tangible progress to improve the grid's security posture uh, by deploying tools and technology uh, to improve industry and government situational awareness and improve the information uh, flow of information, uh, both uh, security threat information uh, and awareness of activity that takes place on the grid. Uh, this ESCC, the Coordinating Council, is a model for how industry and government can and should work together. Uh, the federal government also collectively takes a whole of government approach, uh, whereby all government agencies work together on a coordinated response. Uh, so we work very closely with our colleagues in DHS uh, in uh, orchestrating a collective uh, response to incidents. And as a sector specific agency, we have the pivotal role of enabling agencies like DHS and other government agencies uh, to be able to have a tailored and appropriate response specific to our sector, uh, bringing our unique expertise uh, with the sector as well as authorities that apply to those incidents. Uh, during response operation, DOE deploys responders who work directly with the affected utilities and local officials on the ground uh, to assess impacts, monitor restoration, 
and support response activities. In extreme cases, DOE can use its legal authorities under the Federal Power Act, the Defense Production Act, and the recently passed FAST Act to enable speedy response and recovery operations. And that's of all stakeholders that are involved in the incident. Uh, we are all in this together, and we have to work in partnership to be able to develop the capabilities and tools needed to help protect local communities. Our 17 national labs are an incredible resource for supporting all stakeholders. Uh, it could be equally used by National Guard units who are working closely uh, with their uh, local service providers, um, just as we work directly with industry to make these capabilities available. The Department of Energy is committed to supporting cybersecurity innovation um, through all of these labs and works closely with academia and the private sector as well. Uh, over the past seven years, we've invested over $210 million in collaborative cybersecurity research and development. One of the unique things about this uh, research and development is that these projects are uh, in, at their heart of partnership uh, and always include partners from academia, industry, and the labs who all work collectively together. Uh, and different projects have different leads, whether it's industry, uh, academia, or the labs, and they all work collectively on the different projects. Since 2009, DOE has worked with utilities to uh, transition to market a number of uh, technologies. And I'm looking at the time, and won't go into a number of them here. We can certainly do that in other venues. Um, um, some of the big labs that uh, have been transitioning technologies include Sandia National Lab, Idaho National Lab, Oak Ridge, and Pacific Northwest National Lab. Uh, we strive to make this expertise that resides in our labs accessible to support government and industry stakeholders' efforts to, str to strengthen and the security and resilience of the grid. Uh, the, earlier we were talking about uh, the National Guard and how its role is to assess, not necessarily to fix. And so that's really where uh, the labs can help build capabilities to, uh, to help assessment teams be able to uh, act uh, do that work more efficiently.